one more month to one more light. Yeah, okay. And uh, we're 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 desperate, man. We're ready for that album. I mean, we're we work a long time on a record, and sometimes you know, in the rollout of it, like I know that some fans have said to me, like, why didn't you just why didn't you just put the whole thing out? <laughs> It's only 10 songs, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we want to make sure that we give each song its moment. We just put out a, a, a new song called Good Goodbye that has Pusher T and Stormzy on it. Which was amazing. I loved, I loved your verses on Thank that, too. You. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, like, you know, all my friends who listen to a lot of hip-hop, like, they, they, I, got a lot of, I got a lot of texts <laughs> and DMs from that. Um, but, yeah, it's been cool. I mean, like, we're, we're super excited for the album to come out. It comes out May 19th. And, um, yeah. I'm excited. Now, now I hear Chester's a little nervous because you did a little more singing this time around, and oh, yeah, uh, he should be. He's I heard just... that your singing's getting a little better. Yeah, no. and uh, that's a problem. I I actually <laughs> didn't intend to sing. We there's of um I'm I do lead vocals on I sing lead vocals on two songs. Mm. Invisible um, and Invisible and Sorry for Now. Okay. And the main reason was um, that both of those songs were kind of like the concept of the song came from something really like personal to me yeah. they were both basically kind of like about my family so uh, about my kids so it was like it just felt really almost like obvious that I should mm -hmm. sing them um, and and yeah like we, on previous albums like we've you know um, both like we'll have a song and we'll both sing a version of it right. and we'll just kind of pick which vocals to feature mm -hmm. sometimes it just ends up usually it just ends up being Chester right. once in a while it ends up being me and there've also been situations like like um, burning in the skies or castle of glass where it ended up being like a mixture. So if you listen to castle of glass, that starts with me, and then by the middle of the song, like it's a blend of both voices. Right. So. And how do you feel about being the lead singer now for uh, Lincoln Park I mean, on this new album? You know, songs. It's just a couple <laughs> songs. But but I, I I definitely wouldn't have been ready to do that. Yeah. Like, you know two three four years ago right. um, and it's I, you know I, I benefit from from singing along with Chester every night on stage yeah. like I just get better by imitating him you guys just get better every time period like that's just what it is yeah, appreciate um, that so I, I gotta tell you because I know the fans would kill me if I didn't say anything but the one okay rock fans are like oh thank yeah. you Mike thank yeah. you Mike for yeah. <laughs> for working with 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 my boys in one okay rock uh, they're super excited about the track you did with with the guys yeah. um but i know uh taco was out in the studio with you guys yeah he Did came he... he it was really random like he just came uh to la they were working on their stuff and somebody from there they had reached out i think i don't think they had reached out saying like hey would you like work on a song or anything but they had just reached out to get together um and you know they've always they've said so many nice things about our band like yeah. it's they're they're good dudes and and really like complimentary um and I think that like being able to, I just did, I did a little bit of production on one of their songs on their new record and we set up some shows. I'm really excited to get out there and yeah. do some shows with them. I mean, I gotta, yeah. I gotta book a trip to Japan. Yeah. <laughs> like, I gotta it's see that. Big. It's going to be big. I mean, for American fans who don't know about them, um, I think this is, they got the, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of English speaking. Is the whole album English? Well, they have an English version. This is their first ever like English uh, the, album. The songs I heard, there was a lot of songs I heard he, they, that Taka played me yeah. that were were um, English. Yeah. So they have an English version and they have a Japanese version. Okay, so I haven't even heard the Japanese version, yeah. but um, it still sounds amazing. It's great. No, it's great. I'm I'm really pumped for them and I'm excited um, for some of our fans to hear. Yeah. Uh, who don't know of the, of One OK Rock um, to hear the the music? So one more light, May nineteenth. May nineteenth. So far, you're only touring in the UK and Japan, right? We got more tour dates on the way. Um, we're slowly, you know, as as you can, like the Japan dates just started coming out. So we're we're slowly announcing and putting together more dates. Right. Uh, we'll be on the road a lot for this record. So you guys should consider One OK Rock for the world tour. Just I mean, world tour in general. We, we're about to announce some some dates with with some other folks. That I'm really happy with too. Like, I want to get out on the road. There's too many, too many artists that I want to go out and play with. So, we'll make it work. just you know, keep up on LincolnParkcom on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, MusicForRelief.org. Don't forget to check it out. And thanks for watching here on Front Row Live, guys. Uh, one more light, May 19th. May 19th.